This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, March 26, 2012. In Canada, radar imagery shows moderately dense precipitation around the cities of Kelowna and Calgary and the regions of Newfoundland, Labrador, Prince Edward Island, and Nova Scotia. Jet stream and water vapor analysis coincides with Calgary and the mentioned eastern coastal regions. In the U.S., Alaska and Hawaii are free of current fallout risk, but the Pacific Northwestern states of Washington and Oregon will be hit head-on. This may affect Northern California as far south as San Francisco, especially on Tuesday. Scattered regions of precipitation that coincide with tropospheric disturbances would be both North and South Dakota, Nebraska, and Kansas on Monday, and Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Illinois on Tuesday. Any developing storms for Oklahoma and Texas may also be at risk. In Europe, current precipitation tables show rain expected for Scandinavia and Poland, but jet stream and water vapor maps would make Portugal, Spain, and Greece at risk also if precipitation develops there. Nuke Report There are four events, two of critical significance. At the Vaudel, Georgia power plant, which is currently under construction, it was determined that up to 20 unauthorized personnel were in the spent fuel pool area, and it resulted in security and programmatic vulnerability. The licensee has notified the NRC inspectors. There were also anomalies in the pool area as well. In Salem, New Jersey, they experienced an automatic reactor shutdown without known cause, and two reactor coolant pumps malfunctioned. As the unit is currently in hot shutdown, the licensee anticipates making a press release about this event and has notified the state of New Jersey. At the North Anna reactor in Virginia, which is currently refueling, had degraded welding areas where the alloy contained defects. It is considered an event or condition that results in its principal safety barriers being seriously degraded. Another event at North Anna on March 25th was that an earthquake was felt on site. A plant inspection is ongoing to determine if any plant issues arose from this. The licensee was to notify the NRC, state and local agencies, DHS, FEMA, and the Nuclear Safety Administration. I encourage anyone living close to these plants to contact your local news affiliate to cover these stories. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.